Matt Bogg here. I hope this uh, video finds you well. This uh, lesson is on multiplying three-digit numbers with two-digit numbers. So it's just an extension of what we just did, multiplying two digits with uh, two digits. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and take a look at that. It'll, th this one should wrap it up as well, uh, help you with this. So let's multiply uh, these using the distributive property and powers of 10. So I kind of went over this in the last video. So 321. 321 times 34. Okay, I'm going to represent 321 as 300 plus 20 plus 1 and 34 as 30 plus 4. Okay, do you see that right there? And then what I'm going to do is use the, the distributive property. I'm going to distribute this 30 through. I'm going to go 30 times this 300. 30 times 20, 30 times 1, okay? So there's that right there, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing now, but I'm going to multiply the 4 times 300, the 4 times 20, and the 4 times 1, okay? All right, you see that right there? So there's my 30 times 300, uh, 20 times, I'm sorry, 30 times 20, and then 30 times 1. Here's my 4 times 300, 4 times 20, and 4 times 1, okay? All right, so... All right, so when I multiply 300 times 30, multiply 3 times 3 is 9, and then it's going to have 3 zeros. So this is going to be 9,000. Okay, multiply 2 times 3 is 6, and then add these two zeros. So this will be 600. This is 30, obviously. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12 with these two zeros. And then 2 times 4 is 8 with that zero. And then finally plus 4. Okay, you guys with me right there? That's what I just said right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add all these together right here, and I think I lined those up right up here. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I added them all up. When I add these zeros up in this 4, I get this 4. When I add this 0 plus 0, plus 3 is 3, plus uh, 8 is 11, so there's my 1 for the 1's digit of the 11, and there's my 10's digit for the other uh, 1 on the 11. Okay, and then 1 plus 6 is 7. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add uh, 8 and 9, okay? And then uh, I don't know what this is right here. I shouldn't have that right there. Let me let me delete that out. Okay, there we go. So that's not there. I, I must have carried too many in there, okay? Because I didn't have to carry in there. So and then when I add uh, 9 plus 1, I get that 10 right there, okay? Uh, when I teach my students, you guys, I make mistakes all the time. I teach high school math up in uh, Sacramento. Uh, and I make my kids are catching me left and right on, on mistakes like that. So anyway, let's do that again with this one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, write this as 400 plus 50 plus 8. And this is going to be 70 plus 9, okay? So there's that right there. All right? And then check this out, you guys. When I teach this in my algebra class, I'm going to go backwards. I call this the claw method. You see how I'm looking like it looks like it's a claw on top and on bottom, kind of like a, almost like a clamshell. So I, I call it the claw method. And if you can imagine me up in front of my class, I... Uh, I show my arms kind of wrapping around it, and I go, Rrr! it's the claw method. Ah, never mind, you guys don't get it. <laughs> All right, uh, here I'm going to go ahead and multiply 70 times 400, 70 times 50, and 70 times 8, okay? Now, 7 times 4 is 28, and I'm going to add 1, 2, and this 3 zeros, okay? 7 times 5 is 35, and I'm going to add this 0 and this 0, so 3500, zero, zero, and then 70 times 8, 7 times 8 is 56 with a 0, okay? So there's that right there. All right, pretty groovy, huh? And then let's go ahead and multiply the 9 through. 9 times 4 is 36 with these two zeros. 9 times 5 is 45 with that 0, and then 9 times uh, 8 is 72, all right? And then you're going to go and see the claw. Rawr! Okay, um, <laughs> And then go ahead and add those guys together, and I get uh, 36,182, okay? I kind of like that way of multiplying. Uh, uh, I can almost do that in my head, but uh, I'm getting kind of old. My, my brain gets forgetful after a bit, so I kind of get lost on that. So for me, it's kind of hard to do in my head, but I, I bet you some of you guys can do that in your head uh, probably with ease, okay? This kind of stuff right here, this blue stuff and this red stuff, and then the claw method right there. All right, all right. So here, um, uh, your textbook might ask you to estimate uh, the multiplication, and then and then go ahead and multiply. So estimating just kind of it kind of it, it it helps you realize is my answer a legit a legitimate answer? Okay, as some of my students say, it's legit. 
All right, so how I would estimate this guy first, you guys, I would think of this as this is close to 300, you guys. So just pretend like that's 300. This is close to 20. 300 times 20, you guys, is um, uh, you multiply uh, uh, the 3 times uh, this 3 times 2 is 6. And so if I add these two zeros and that zero, I would guess it's close to uh, 6,000. Okay, now do you think it's going to be above 6,000 or below 6,000? Well, it's definitely going to be above 6,000 because uh, 321 is above 300 and 22 is above 20. But I know it's going to be somewhere around 6,000. It's going to be bigger than 6,000. I definitely know that. But how much bigger? I'll find out right now. Okay. All right, so at least if I get an answer that's somewhere around 6,000, I know I'm in the ballpark right there. So if you got like an answer like 25,000, I know I made a mistake somewhere, okay? Or, or if you got an answer like, uh, you know, uh, 78 or, you know, something, you know, uh, some some uh, people would get uh, incorrect answers. Anyways, let's go ahead and multiply this 2 through. I'm going to go 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, okay? And then so that's going to get me uh, 642. All right, now when I multiply this 2 through, i got to carry a 0 right here. So let me carry that 0 first right there, okay? Now I'm going to multiply again 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3. And I'm going to get 642 again, but i got the 0 right there, all right? And then, uh, now see, this is just, multi like, just like multiplying a 2 by 2, you guys. Then you're going to go ahead and add those little rascals together. When I add them together, uh, 2 plus 0 is 2, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10, so there's my 0 for the 10, and I carry the 1, so 1 plus 6 is 7 right there. Okay, so the answer is 7,062, 7,062, okay? And, you know, that's, that's I don't know, it, 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 at least it gives me a, I knew it was going to be bigger than 6,000, so uh, 7,062 is a number that's bigger than 6,000, and, and I, I just estimated, you guys, it's the direction say to estimate. So I estimated it was going to be something a little larger than 6,000. So here's the correct answer, 7,062. Let's try another one of these, you guys. All right, so on this one here, 791, that's close to, I'd say, 800. Uh, 31 is close to uh, 30. So if I multiply uh, 800 times 30, you guys, and so I just multiply 8 times 3 is 24. So if it's going to be 24 uh, with a couple of zeros and one more zero, so three zeros right there, okay? Is it bigger or less than? Uh, let's see, if I said 800, this is a little bit less, and if I said 30, that's a little bit more, so I don't know, it's going to be pretty close, you guys, So, but it's somewhere around 24,000, okay, so let's go ahead and multiply through, so I multiplied the 1 through right there, I'm going to carry a 0 right here, okay, and then I'm going to multiply the 3 for the tens digit in the 31, alright, so carry that 0 right there, and now I'm going to multiply 3 times 3 is, uh, well, I'll go ahead and put all that there and explain it here. Okay, 3 times 3 is, I'm sorry, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times uh, 9 is 27. So here's my 7 right here, and I carry um, a 2. I didn't show that carry of a 2. Let me go ahead and put that in there right now. <gasps> Another mistake. All right, let me get to, oh boy, I got a big old font right there. Let me uh, carry a 2 for that 27 right there. Shame on me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and carry that little 2 right there because I did uh, 3 times 9 is 27, so I carried that 7, and then there's the 2, and then I'll go 3 times 7 is 21, and then I add these 2 right here, and that's where I get that 23 right there. Okay, you guys with me right there? Sorry as I adjust this here. Okay, I'm just copying that there. All right, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and add those together right there. So when I add them together, I just pasted that up there if you didn't see that. Okay, so if when I add uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, uh, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1. There's my 1 right there. So 7 plus uh, 1 right here is 8, and then 8 plus 7 is 15. So there's my 5 for the 15. Here's the 1 for the 15, the 10. So I carried it right there. 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, and then 2. So the answer is going to be, always put a comma after the three digits right there. So go back three digits and put the comma right there. Okay, so I get 24,521. Okay, and uh, that's close to that. And it looked like it was a little bit bigger on that one. I could have went either way on that one, a little bit bigger, a little bit less. But um, um, it's uh, there's the correct answer right there. And I, we got pretty close on that one. Okay, you guys, take care.